Coming up next on QNS Vlogs. We are here in the cruise port in Barcelona, about to board the Holland America Busta Dam for the Dave Cause Smooth Jazz Cruise. Q and I are about to board. Wait, and guess what? Uh, Ain't pouring up the red this time. <laughs> So we are going to our room, room 8133. We were late to the party, so we have an interior. It's all good. This is our room, and as you can see, the Dave Cause van is on it. Y'all, we got here and our stuff is already here. This is the first time, this is record that our stuff is already here in the room. Oh look, we got lanyards. We have lanyards and a hat and it looks like Voyage 3 and a special welcome from Dave. So that's cool. This is tonight's theme. This right here is everything that's being offered. So we've ordered the Bacardi rum for the room. We ordered the Coronas, five Coronas for Q for the room. We ordered the seven day quench beverage package, which gets you all non-alcoholic beverages during the entire seven day cruise. And also we've ordered the internet for the entire cruise. So we're set. Dave even has a special uh, breakfast menu, you know, a room service breakfast menu which is cool. And these are the items, as you can see the items on this side are, they cost. And then of course, over here is the complimentary items. A little close up view of the, this is the Redwood Travel. These are the official travel providers for the Dave Cause Cruises. And this is a really nice, um, I don't know if it's real leather or not, but it's really nice. And it has the Dave Cause insignia on the lanyard and it has our information on it here it says we have the late headline show we have early dining a closer look at the hat which is really nice mm -hmm. oh look spain morocco portugal 2023 this is really nice and here's a book voyage three and it's just a book of the itinerary and all of the places that we're going to be going all of the artists that are going to be performing i mean q and i we just can't wait and they have the schedule every day the schedules for every day of this cruise which is really nice and a keepsake really like that so q and i just finished the mustard drink, and all you had to do was let them scan your code on your CPASS card. So now we're on and watch the video, and watch the video in your room. So Q and I are here in the Lido Marketplace at the buffet. And this is what we got so far. We got a tossed salad, potatoes, chicken, beef with vegetables, and fish. And everything's pretty good. That fish is really good. And they got the ginger ale that we love, the Royal Club ginger ale. Okay, y'all. This chicken got some seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. It's got some seasoning and it tastes pretty good. Right there. This is the best seasoned chicken I ever had on a cruise ship. Facts. So, this fish is also good, y'all. This, <laughs> I don't need my special season. Y'all know what that is. It, this fish is good too, y'all. Let me, I'm gonna show it to you. It's right there. It's good too. It's good. The fish is good. The chicken is good. Oh my Lord. Quentin is giving me vegan pizza. Let's taste it. 
If it's vegan, it's got to be some other kind of cheese thing. Mm, cheese. No, it's perfectly cooked. This pizza is good too. Okay, Holland and Martha, I see you. The complimentary wine was flowing, y'all, and I had me a good time. I had a couple or two, and they were really good. So Dave took the time to introduce each of the over 200 musicians he had on board. And I'm telling you, the likes of Mesa and Eric Darius and Peter White and Rick Braun. We are so excited for this, y'all. It's just starting off to a great cruise already. So here's the menu of the featured beverages at every venue on the ship. And also the menu for tonight's dinner. So we are here for our first dinner on the Dave Claus Cruise and they are going around all down around where the diners are and playing. You can probably hear them in the background. I'm really excited. So this is turning out to be a great cruise so far. Okay, Q, what you think? So far, best cruise ever. <laughs> so I just ordered the seafood, crab seafood salad. And it looks as if I'm gonna have to use my special seasoning, y'all. So, so far, the French onion soup was really good. It was like it took a big, thick piece of Texas toast, extra cheesy, and popped it on top of the onion soup. Everything was good. It was really good soup. The crab and seafood cocktail that I got, it was really good. It had like a yum yum sauce, whatever. I did add mine my special seasoning on top and it brought out the flavors of it. It was a little bit sweet, but it was really good. Now I'm about to get into this corn and cod fritter. So I just had the corn and cod fritter. That was really good. You can taste the bits of corn in it and they popped them off and they were sweet and it kind of offset the saltiness of the cod, but the cod wasn't really salty. The breading, it was a bit bready, but you could taste the cod and you could taste the corn and it was really done well. They had like a romalade and I'm not a mayonnaise kind of girl like that, even on the, the seafood one, the seafood salad thing, but both of those sauces are really good. And the romalade underneath of those fritters had like lemon in it and it was at the bottom of it, so when I put it in the mouth, I wasn't expecting it, but that sweetness, really enhanced the flavor of that cod. That was really good. So here's the lasagna that I got. And Q got the short ribs, right? So we just got finished our mains. Q had the short rib. He said that it was really good. To me, it looked like a, a beef lo mein, but he said it was really tasty. I got the lasagna. It was like hearty meat sauce. That lasagna was really good. The cheese, 
the, the meat and the layers of pasta really came together and it was really good. So I'm gonna give this meal a 4.5 out of five. It was a really good meal. So on this cruise, every day is chock full of different musical events and there's a schedule. And we just got finished eating dinner. We're gonna go down and check out Julian Vaughn's set. Hopefully we can get a seat. country, am I? Yeah. We waited a long time for this. Who's happy to be here for 2023? Yeah. Back in the room, it's after midnight. Okay, coming on the ship. That was real quick. It was quick. This is the first time we ever been on a cruise, y'all, and our 
our bags was in the room. They were in the room. Not in the hallway. Not in the hallway, in the room. And I mean, we left our bags down, came up, went straight to our room. That wasn't even 20 minutes maybe, right? Right. And them bags was in the room. Okay, so how in America doing something right? Because them bags, this is the first time that ever happened. So I was happy with that. First of all, they don't have, I say, porters. Porters per se. You know, they just have somebody just takes your bag and it's a conveyor belt. And they just put the bags on the conveyor belt. Right. And that's it. I think the process, that process go really quick. Yeah, it was. I like like that process. Yeah, I do too. So, the sail away party was with Marcus, Marcus Anderson. And they had champagne and red wine and another nasty dry Chardonnay <laughs> that was disgusting. But I like the red wine. So well, some people like Chardonnay. I say. know, but I don't. Okay, I don't like dry wine. Anyway, that red wine was good. So I had a couple of them. And uh, Marcus Anderson was playing with Adrian Crushfield and some other people. And they was really yes, good. They was. And then Dave Cos came out and, of course, introduced everybody that's going to be performing. He said this is like the biggest... Um, group of artists that he's had on a cruise. They said they have over 200 artists. Yes. Total. Yes. So we are. So we were so excited. Formers. Yes. So that was really nice. You know. Um, you know, it was just nice. That was a nice sail away. Yes, it was. And then Q and I, because the jet lag caught up to us, so we came back and we took our disco net because we need a disco net around here, y'all, or we ain't gonna be seeing nothing. Yeah. So we had disco net. We got up and we went to dinner. After I got somebody to get up. Yeah, shut up. You, whatever. <laughs> so we got up. We went to dinner. And dinner was really good. It was. I got the corn and that corn and cod fritter. That was so good. I got the, it was like a seafood mixed thing. That was good, like cold salad. And I got the French onion soup, which was really good. She went three full on that. Yes, I did. And then I got a lasagna. That was really good. How was your food, babe? I had the French onion soup also, and that you know that was good. We just mm-hmm. had that, and I had the what was that? The beef tenderloin? Oh, oh, it short looked like rib, a short rib, rib. yeah. But with, it looked like look, with beef lo mein with linguine. with linguine. You like that? It looked yeah. good. With curds, so yeah. that was pretty good too. So we was trying to rush to the show, so we couldn't get dessert. <laughs> so, so that's when we went to see Julie and Vaughn and friends, and he had um, Adrian Crutchfield and Adam Harley. And that was really nice, you oh, know. Had it. And right? who else? He had a uh, couple of people. Okay. And that was nice. And then we went to the main show, which was Howard Hewitt and um, Michael Langdon and Peter White. And that was a nice show. I'm so glad Howard Hewitt. I'm just gonna put it out there. When we went to see him at Reading, up the Burks Jazz Festival, he was singing to a track. So that did something for me yes it did so you know but he sang with a a, of course a band because it's over 200 musicians on this shit yes so he sung with a band and that was nice and Michael Langdon he was good he did his thing on the sax Uh, and Peter Peter White White, man you know I love me some (laughs) Peter White he took that show completely over (laughs) and then he bought out Rick Braun and then he bought out Mindy Uh, Abed then he bought out Ray Parker Jr no Howard Hewitt bought out Ray Parker Jr yeah he did right when he playing that ba- that uh, bass line or whatever for um, Make This a Night to Remember, Ray Parker Jr. was playing that. That was good. But he brought them out, and I'm here to tell you, yes. It yes. was a great show. It was a great show. We really enjoyed it. And then we came up to 10 running, because you nope, know... Nope, nope. We went to see Mesa, too. Oh, yeah. We went to see Mesa at the um, at the Duel and Piano little... Inside thing, the casino. Inside the casino. And she was nice. For what we saw. And what's the other group that was in the other range? Um, it was a trio. I forgot their name, wait a minute. Then like, we got uh we went to Peter White's pub and it was um Casey Abrams, Dylan Chambers, and Carl Wachner. And they were really good. They they was they was getting down too. And then so all this was going on back and yeah, forth. Yeah, all these shows, y'all, I'm telling you, Dave Carr's doing his thing. He has this, I mean, it's a full day of different venues yes. with different jazz artists performing. You really gonna have to put you, pick and choose who you gonna <laughs> see because you cannot see all of them. So I advise you to pick and choose if you come d- to see which one you, you wanna see. So um, after Mason and performed and I was at the bar and Q was like, come on, we got to go up to 10. So we try to fly up. The- 
it was Eric Darius and I think what who is he with Mindy um, Candy Duffler right. and they were doing a Motown um, yeah. yeah Motown welcome party and it was really nice Q and I couldn't see nothing it was so packed up there so I just sat down I had my little virgin strawberry daiquiri and I just listened and they sound good it was I, so crowded people was yeah, dancing it was dancing it was, it was, it was insane it was, y'all yes and I, like I said, I told Q, as long as I can hear the music, I'm good. I and think the, the venue... That venue may have been a little bit too small, small for, for that because when you say Motown, I mean, Motown is right. universal. A lot of people love Motown. So I felt like they could have put that in a bigger venue so more people could have enjoyed right. it. Right. But I was up there and I, that music was good and they sounded good, so yeah. So? Yeah, and then they had a late night snack up there afterwards. They had like chicken and cold sandwiches and fruit. Um, you know, up there. So we got that, and um, and now we back in the room. So uh, four day. Yeah. What would you say overall, Q? How was your your first day aboard the Dave Cause y'all? The Dave Cause Music at Sea Jazz event, right? Cruise. Oh, yeah, I say Dave Cause. Who did I say that? Yeah, y'all, y'all, the jet lag trying to catch up with me. I don't want it to, but it's <laughs> trying to. So what, what do you say the first day was, babe? I give it a five. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, too. I enjoyed it, too. Um, I give it a five, too. It was, this is really nice. Because not only is it cruising, which we like to do, but we love. If y'all know, I'm always talking. We love smooth jazz. So we is in our element right here, y'all. I'm right. telling you. And we're going to try to bring y'all all this content. So please make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you subscribe to us, y'all. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so you know when we are posting our content, okay? And keep them comments coming. Have you ever been on a smooth jazz cruise? You know, do you like smooth jazz? What are your favorite artists? I, I can name a whole list of them. I'm telling you, a lot of mine is right here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm good. But um, we're going to wrap this up. We just wanted to give you our first day thoughts. Tomorrow is Ibiza. Yeah. So we're going to take you to Ibiza with us tomorrow, everybody. So Q and I are out, about to go to sleep. Peace, y'all. Deuces.